Hello everyone, my name is Michaela, and today I'm going to be whitening and brightening my whites. I have three different recipes on three different types of items, and I'm going to show you what I use and how I do it on sheets, pillowcases, towels, and cleaning rags, so stay tuned to see them all. Starting off with sheets, there's a few blood stains on here from where I had shaved my legs and nicked myself and then gone to bed, so my favorite thing for blood stains is hydrogen peroxide. And then I'm going to be using hydrogen peroxide, OxyClean, and Dawn dish soap in a soak for them. Starting off with the hydrogen peroxide, I really like that instead of bleach. The OxyClean is going to help get out a lot of the dirt and set in stains. And this is just the plain OxyClean. It's not the OxyClean bright white or anything like that. And then the Dawn Platinum. I think this smells really good all together. And I'm going to start off in a freshly scrubbed tub so that there's no settlement for my water in here. I'm going to add about a teaspoon or two, I'm not really sure exactly how much that was, of Dawn dish soap and then two full scoops of the OxyClean and about half of this, which is about two cups of peroxide. In this recipe, I especially like the Dawn dish soap. I think it got a lot of the grease and stuff from the pillowcases out of the sheets. I started up with my broom handle and then I'm going to be adding these in, but I should have waited until the water was a little more filled up so that it was all diluted properly instead of letting the sheets soak up the more concentrated solution, but it all worked out. This is what the water started out looking like. And I'm going to let these soak for as long as I can, about four or five hours. This was 1030 and I think I pulled them out around four. The next recipe that I'm going to be using for towels and pillowcases is Shout, the concentrated refill kind so that I have plenty, and then also the OxyClean just like I used in the first one. So I would say I used half a cup to a cup of the Shout and then a full scoop of OxyClean. The concentration of this is totally up to you depending on how stained and dirty your pillows or towels are. And I went ahead and pre-treated any areas and just the general pillow with the peroxide as well. The peroxide just really helps to whiten and brighten things without using bleach. So I made sure to especially spray it on any spots that I saw that were really yellow and this brought out the white. There was no yellow left afterwards and at kind of at the last minute I decided to throw some towels in there. They didn't whiten up too well because some things are just beyond whitening like this rust stain. I did put peroxide on there and I'm not sure if that wasn't the right thing to use or what, but it didn't actually come out. But I decided to throw the white towels in there anyways. This is in my guest bathroom and then I added the pillows and I will show you what the water is looking like in the sheets after one hour. It was getting pretty gross. And then some of these sheets are ivory and some of them are plain white, but I did know that this was going to work and not ruin the ivory ones as well. This is what the water was looking like after one hour in the pillows and the towels. This may not look too bad, but when you see after I pull the sheets out, you can tell that it pulled so much grime and gunk out of there. And I think that is mainly due to the soap that I put in there rather than the actual OxyClean. I think the OxyClean helps whiten and brighten. But this is how I washed them after I pulled them out of the soak, wrung them out completely. I put about a quarter cup of washing soda and a quarter cup of borax in the bottom of my machine and then added the sheets to it. I did this for each of the loads after they were fully soaked and I just washed them in regular detergent. This is the detergent that I'm using right now on a hot, hot cycle and made sure that they were fully rinsed out as well. I did not use any fabric softener, but you could wash these again if you thought they were a little crusty with a little bit of baking soda and vinegar and that would soften them right up or you could add a fabric softener to this. I just didn't want to add any more stuff to it since I knew there was already going to be a lot of stuff getting washed out anyway. Even after all that soaking, the water was still looking pretty gross in the middle of the wash. One set of this was clean and one of them was not. And so when I put them back on my bed, they looked so fresh and clean. If you see any gray areas, that is more of the settlement from my water. That is not actual staining and that usually washes out and gets put back in in between washes. Just depends on what's in there. So I was trying to show you guys, this is kind of late at night, show you how wide it was, especially compared to my dark comforter. 
It looked so white, it was almost blue. After all these treatments and washing, this is what the water looked like from the pillows and the towels. And while the pillows weren't too bad when they went in, I realized that they must have been a little worse than I thought they were because they came out so bright and so white afterwards. I was kind of amazed myself from this and I was so glad that I had gone ahead and done that. They may look just a little bit lumpy, but once we sleep on them, they flatten out again and everything's good. After soaking and washing the towels in the same way that I did with the sheets, this is what they looked like. Of course, that rust stain did not come out, but like I said, some things are just beyond whitening or brightening because I had washed them too many times in a row, washed and dried them, and that was just not coming out. But the set in grime and just kind of stuff that was in there, almost like a laundry stripping, that all came out. So now I'm going to show you guys what these dirty, nasty rags looked like after I treated them in the same way. This is after soaking them overnight instead of just for the four hours. And they were already looking so much better. And you can tell that water is absolutely nasty. These mop heads had been looking kind of rough and I didn't feel like they were cleaning the same and now I know why. So I just soaked them in the same way but overnight instead and washed them in the same way as well and they looked so much better afterwards. Of course I did clean some of my other rags along with them and they were so bright and white afterwards. They're not going to get out specific stains but for the most part, they are very much whitened and brightened. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope to see you in the next one. And I hope this helps you whiten and brighten your whites in some way. Let me know which was your favorite recipe down below.